Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hangar hobbit here. Welcome aboard the M4A4 First Provisional Tank Guards, rank 2, battery rating 3.7, premium bird for the Chinese. And I had people telling me they was having trouble doing that whole kill planes in a tank, tanks in a plane thing, so I thought I would show you how I did the whole kill the tanks with the plane thing. Because kill the planes with the tank thing, yeah, that's piss easy. Just go into a car arcade with the Wormel Wind or the BTZ thing, it's fucking piss easy. But yeah, the nice thing about this is, if you don't have this premium, it doesn't matter. They have the freaking the exact same tank in the tree with just a different paint job. But the, if you, oh, thank you, I will take that. You don't have to have this exact tank, you just need to find something that works good for you. Hello there. Oh, really, Gaijin? No shell bullshit? Really? I thought you fixed this crap. Th this is odd. Fix your shit. But as I was saying, the main thing about that task is you have to find a combination that works really good for you. I know some guys using BT5 to IL2, which is a valid strategy. I know a few guys using ITP, a couple of guys that like to drop the booms with freaking Mustangs or Thunderbolts. But it's all about finding that nice balance. Because you got to find a tank that fits you good and a plane that fits you good because it's not going to do you any good if you're doing good in a tank and you can't hit shit with the plane or vice versa. But yeah, so what I'm doing here is I've already got me a cap. So now I am just about racking up as many points as I can so I can get as many birds as I can to start picking on the dumb shits in the SBAA. See, that is what I found is the easiest target to go for in these things, is the SPAAs, because one, they're stupid enough to just spray up in the sky, letting you know exactly where they are, and number two, they are nearly all open top, which makes them a lot easier to kill. Yes, but you gotta have a bird with the right gun for it. I mean, little bitty pew pews, is that alive? Nope, that's not alive. Guns with little bitty pew pews, I found, just don't do enough damage. No, you, I mean, you, you, theoretically you could do it with the 50 cows, but honestly, I would rather have cannons or at least a couple of bombs to go with the 50 cows. I tried doing it in the beautiful little ice shack because, hey, the ice shack's fun. I like the ice shack. I was getting tons of assists. I just, even with the 20 mils, I just wasn't doing enough. Oh, hello there. Excuse me. Okay, just drive right past me. All right. Good lord, he's more blind than I am. Don't you love when they are that blind? Ah, it makes it so much easier. But yeah, look at the map. Our team, I would say, has pretty much got this one in the bag. So I just need to charge up here, grab as many points as I can so I can get my bird. Uh, this is not a good map for blind hobbits anyway. Oh, and I already hear SPAA is firing. Oh, hello there. Oh, that was a nice creep. See if I can swing this thing around, get another shot. Oh, damn, I got shot from three different directions. Oh, good, I got plenty of spawn points. Oh, and he's an open top. Isn't that nice? Yeah, see, this is what I found made a good combo. Yes, put this thing, this freaking mossy, together with the freaking M4. It works really, really good. Yeah, because that ground target belt, yeah, it works fine. The, I just throw the stealths on the little freaking British guns, because, I mean, who gives a shit on the little pew pews? But, yeah, 420 mils with ground target belts? Oh, yes, that works a treat, especially on open top stuff. Oh, but look at my team. Yeah, they are just getting totally raffle stomped. Yeah, and don't expect me to try to land this bird, because this is why we were having that stupid bug where you, if you landed, it started bouncing, 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 and you never could get off the ground again. So, yeah, I am not about to do that. Okay, what the hell are they shooting at? Are you shooting at me? Oh, no, that's a plane. I see a plane. Oh, I like planes. Hello, Mr. Plane. How are you doing today? What kind of plane is... Ooh, I think that's a Stuka. You come here, Mr. Stuka. Don't you run away from me. You come here. Oh, there's a nice crit. A little more. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't pick on the plane, but eh. 
if this BR, that might have been a cannon stoker. I do not want to get a 20 mil up my booties. Okay, now all I got to do is wait for an SPAA to do something stupid. Like, I don't know, shoot at me. There we go. Hello there, stupid little SPAAs. Oh, that's it. Keep shooting. Let me know exactly where you are, because I got stuff for you. Oh, come on, boom. Really? Look, I know British bombs aren't that great, but come on now. That, that, no, that's bullshit. Oh, there's another one, though. Hello there. Thank you. Easy snacks. Ah, so good. All right, come back around. Find another idiot. Oh, this is, this was such an easy task. It really was. I don't know why people's having stress. Oh, there we go. Wild Weasel. Yes, Wild Weasel. Some people don't know how to do the Wild Weasels. Can you not believe this? Yes, for those that do not know how you do the... Oh, thank you. I will take that one too. How you do the Wild Weasels, what you do is you have a friendly plane. It doesn't have to be in a squad. Just any friendly plane. Wait for the friendly plane to go by. And then when the stupid SBAA shoots a friendly plane, you kill it. If this SPIA starts shooting at you, just turn away a little bit, keep him focused on you, and let your friendly plane shoot it. You just switch back and forth, back and forth. Think of it like a thatch weave, only for ground targets. You'd be surprised how well that works, and it works in damn near every BR. Good Lord, when Joe was spading some of that low-tier stuff, we were doing wild weasels, and good grief, the amount of freaking kills we were racking up was batshit. He was like, oh, look, there's one. You can have it. Okay, thank you. Blam. Oh, well, now one's shooting at me. Okay, I got it. Blam. And, yeah, it, it definitely helps out your team because when they're all getting shot constantly by airplanes, yeah, it kind of makes them more worried about the airplanes than what's going on in the ground. Although I don't really think it's going to matter too much on this map because, I mean, good Lord, we took the cap right at the start. Yeah, I don't think they capped even once. Oh, German teams, man. They're so bad. It's just sad. I don't know why they're so bad. I mean, you'd think German guns are good. I mean, yeah, the, the 50 mil is good. The German 75 is great. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just German freaking tankers don't know how to take. I mean, they just drive in a straight line, head right for them. They don't even try to angle. I mean, it's just silly. All right, come on, Yak. I'm keeping them busy. See, I'm doing the wiggles. I'm doing the wiggles. Wild Weasel. There he goes. Wild Weasels. Yay. See how easy that was. You help out your team so often by doing this. Oh, they're trying to cap. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't think that push was going to last very long. All right, who's shooting at me? Yeah, I'm damn near out of ammo anyway. I might as well risk it for a biscuit. Come on, where are we going? All right, where are you? Somewhere down here. Oh, damn, I'm down to the pew pews. Oh, I wish Gaijin would quit nerfing the British pew pews. I mean... I have watched the gun camera footage. British Pew Pews were not that shit. I mean, sure, they're no modus, but yeah, they were not like throwing freaking doilies out the window either. You could actually kill a plane pretty damn quick with 477s. Okay, where the hell are you? I can't see a damn thing. You must be squeezed between the buildings. Oh, that's it. Keep shooting at me. Eh, that's fine. Don't need it. Plus, as a nice bonus, see, I got that friggin' thing where you can get the decal if you end up in a tank and then be in the top three, but yeah, it's not hard. Yeah, look at their teeth. Yeah, I don't think I could take another plane, you know. But nah, I'll break out my tank. That'll work so much better. I'm going to speed things up here for a minute because, yeah, their team is getting raffle stomped and I seriously doubt I'm ever going to get close enough to shoot another one before they all go bye-bye. But you see, a nice thing about doing a combo thing like this 
Because you saw, I had enough spawn points. I could have took out a second friggin' mozzy. I could have took out my friggin' little ice shack with a couple of booms on it if I wanted to. I probably could have thrown in another boomer. It is, you get so many spawn points just by picking on the little dumb shits in the SPAAs. It is completely unreal. All I'm gonna do is go over here, try to decap their stuff. Oh, they tried to cap. Yeah, that's not gonna work out for you though, buddy. But yeah, you get tons of spawn points for ragged. Even if you don't kill them, I mean, if you wing a couple of them, that's still gonna give you a ton of spawn points for the assists. So yeah, not a problem. I thought about capping this, but I was like, you know what? No, I don't want to cap because yeah, we might be able to get some more kills. That would be nice. But no, too late. Their team's getting snookered and their tickets are going down way too damn fast. Oh well, what can you do? I mean, that's just the way the crooks crumble sometimes. Yeah, but still, I'm not going to complain. Look at that. Four kills. Easy run. No stress. I could have took out another plane if I needed more freaking tank targets, but I'm pretty sure that was all I needed to finish this thing up. Good grief, guys. Why are you this takes? So I'm on an NVMe. This should not take this long. Ooh, a kill box. That's nice. Oh, yes. Oh, and look. See, there you go. Got the thing done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. No stress. Come on, guys. Uh, right next to a thousand. You suck. But yeah, see, there you go, thing done, not a problem. So really, all you got to do is find the right plane that you are comfortable with to go with a tank that you can do okay. You don't even have to do a grade in the tank. All you need is enough points to get to the plane. So, I mean, if you're more comfortable in a heavy tank, take something like a KV. If you're more comfortable in a light tank, the Japanese got that nice little M24 that's only 3.7. That works quite nice. And yeah, then you can pair it with that little B7A2. That works good. Or if you got the Chinese, like I said, boom, there you go. Masi works good. It's rank three. It'll count. No problemo. But yeah, it's if this task is not that hard. You still got like a week, I think a week and a half. Yeah. Something like that. About a week to do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Just be positive. Go out there. Find your combination and kick some butt. Well, I hope this helps you out with this little challenge. And I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.